Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we're back with Funko News updates. Today's video is filled with a ton of new announcements, new things hitting stores, first looks at new pops as well, and so much more. Now guys, before we get started, as usual, we do have our question of the day, which is, do you have any Funko Bob characters in your collection that are really rich? And I'm gonna go with Bruce Wayne here, one of the richest in comic book history for sure. Let's go ahead and kick things off with lots of new announcements and first looks at upcoming things. So first up, for Batman fans, we do actually have a new Mr. Freeze GameStop exclusive. This one's currently available for pre-order now on their website if you wanna add it to your animated series set. This one's also a great alternative if you don't own the original one that did come in this set because I think that one's still around a 40 to $50 pop so retail's much cheaper. Moving on for sports fans, we do have a new Pocket Pop advent calendar here of a bunch of different teams. Now I do feel a product like this is actually very weird because somebody made a really good point in a comment the other day. Why would a fan of their specific favorite team want to purchase this with all those other teams in it? Especially if you really don't like a team or like really hate one of the other teams in this set. It's kind of weird honestly. Now we did actually have a couple more NFL items and this includes Santa as different NFL teams there. So you do have a couple choices here of him holding a football or him holding a present where he's launching it there. I think these are like fun in theory, but this looks like a lot of Santas. And these are all Fanatics exclusives if you want to pick them up on their website. Moving on, another new sports product is a new two-pack of Shoei there, and this is a Fanatics exclusive available still on their website if you'd like to pick it up. Next up, we have a quick update on the upcoming My Melody Glow in the Dark exclusive pop for the Sanrio line. So it does look like Toy Stop made this an LACC exclusive, and it will come with two stickers there. And the pre-order should drop soon on their website, as well as it should be shipping in November, that is what the listing does state. Weirdly enough, they did actually state it was gonna drop the other day, but it never did. It still says out of stock, so I'll keep you guys posted. But if you are attending LACC, they most likely will have some stock at their booth there. Next up from the Ad Icons line, we do have a new Toys R Us exclusive of Jeffrey with the Christmas tree, and this one will be exclusive to Macy's. Now next up guys, we do have first looks at a couple prototype versions of Funko Pops coming soon. Firstly here, we do have the pale little girl from the Terrifier movies. Definitely going to be a creepy looking pop for sure. This scrapper proto was spotted over on eBay. We don't have it a definitive release date just yet, so stay tuned on that. Now another one we do have includes Sonic the Hedgehog here and looks like he's going to be in the 8-bit style there. So we don't know if this one's going to be an exclusive or common just yet. So stay tuned for more release details and let me know for Sonic fans, are you excited? Now this next one's pretty interesting because it's actually first looks at a Funkon Comic-Con exclusive that should be happening later this year. It's just kind of weird because I wasn't expecting to see this around New York Comic Con time. But check it out, we do have a new Simpsons exclusive and that's Homer with the reactor there. And as you can see, it does say Funk on London on that sticker there. So I'm assuming they're just gonna sell them on their website, like shared to the website. I think that's how that's gonna go. I'm sure Funko will eventually give us some details about this event, so stay tuned for now. Next up, a little bit of One Piece news here. We do actually finally have some in-person looks at the new One Piece East Blue Saga set. Looks like a seller over on Whatnot. Pop Boy Roy did actually get some in early, and we did get some early glimpses. So first up, we do have Monkey D. Luffy and Sanji there. Both of these look great in box. However, we do have out-of-box photos, which is even better. I am loving that Luffy so much. The stretching mouth feature looks great. They nailed it. Then you have the piece of meat in his hand too. Also a really great job there. And then we do have Sanji with the hard eyes spinning there. They also really nailed that. Love that it's really translucent. A lot of people were really worried about that mold, but I just think they really did a good job. Now, two more we did get looks at includes Usopp and Nami there. Usopp with his rubber band of doom and Nami where she's crying. Taking some out of box looks here, Usopp with that rubber band and those goggles, he looks great in that pre time skit design and then Nami crying there. I gotta say, they killed it with the details on the tears. Genuinely, they did a really good job because those could have turned out so bad. And she looks great, probably one of my favorite pops in that set. And the final first look we did get was at one of the Zoro pops in this set. Unfortunately, no chase first look, so stay tuned. But this is Zoro using two sword style there. He also looks really cool. Honestly, out of both Zoros, I think I just want the chase variation with a bandana because I've been waiting for that as a pop. Now, something else to let you guys know on those One Piece pops, I did actually have someone mentioning to me that their order on Entertainment Earth was showing as processing. And then somebody else also mentioned that their order was processing from Box Launch. So wherever you ordered from, check up on your order on those One Piece pops. They're most likely going to start shipping in the next two, three weeks. And if you haven't 
pre-ordered them just yet, I'll have links down below in the description box for you. Moving on for Demon Slayer fans, another in-person look we do have is a better look at Gyataro here, the Funko Shop exclusive, sharing over from Funko and stuff there. So this is where he does have his blood sickles in hand using his blood attack. They did a really great job on this one too. I'm still undecided if I want to pick up this one or if I'm just fine having the Gyataro versus Tengen moment, you know? Uh, either way though, the update here is that this was actually spotted at Chrono Toys Ontario. We haven't had an update just yet from Funko in terms of this exclusive dropping on their website. However, we recently had the Nezuko drop on their website. So I'm sure Guitar is coming very soon, so stay tuned. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter for faster updates on exclusive drops like that. Now, another little Demon Slayer update I did actually have was coming from Chalice Collectibles. So I wanna let you guys know, over on Chalice right now, the original Shinobu Pop with the special edition sticker is actually available on their website for $48. And the only reason I'm letting you guys know this is just I felt like it was a really good deal from Chalice Collectibles at $48. Because everywhere else I saw people selling it for, I saw it around $80 and up with the special edition sticker and the Funko Shop sticker. So whether you feel like that's a deal or not, I think it's a pretty good deal. I felt it was worth sharing. So if you want to pick one up, they are available over at Chalice Collectibles. Alrighty, moving on, we do have a couple updates from the Funko Shop here. So first up from Star Wars, coming this Monday, we have a ton of different pops dropping, including the Funko Shop exclusive Darth Maul bronze. We also have Darth Maul in the robe, holographic glow mall, which a lot of people are very excited for. Emperor Palpatine as well as the 10 inch Palpatine there. Now, for some reason, I didn't see a drop time on the other Dark Side series set. They just say notify me, so maybe those are a little delayed or they might drop Monday too. So just look out for those. And some other Funko Shop news. I wanted to show you guys all the new drops that are in stock now, especially if you want to take advantage of the sale going on with them. So we did have the new DC Comics Batman Knight and Squire, as well as the new DC Batman Villains and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. On this next page, we had the new Yellowstone Pops, Coca-Cola Polar Bear, as well as Panic at the Disco uh, Pop Album, and then the new Demon Slayer Pops with that Nezuko exclusive. And the final page, we did have the new Beavis and Butthead set, Mean Girl set, as well as Uncle Buck and more Yellowstone. So make sure to head over to the Funko Shop if you need any new pops. Now some other news I have for you guys are some new pops hitting stores now. So this first page features the new Bleach Pops finally. So we do have Kenpachi, Aizen, and Uryu there. And Uryu does have that Glow Chase variation. Keep that in mind. You can find that in stores. And then we did have Byakuya as well as Kon there. So pretty much that full common wave of Bleach Pops is now hitting box launch stores and Hot Topic very soon too. So check your local ones over the next two weeks. I also want to let you know that a few of the Bleach Pops are in stock over on Box Lunch's website as well if you did want to try to take advantage of that and get some of those early. As far as your Bleach pre-orders at places like Entertainment Earth, Child Collectibles and all that, they should ship within the next month. A few more things hitting stores includes John Wick from the Chapter 4 movie as well as Frosty the Snowman. We have the new Avril Lavigne pop, X-Files and Harry Potter gingerbread set. And a couple more included the Darth Maul holographic pops, as well as Scott Pilgrim and Doja Cat Scarlet. The final updates I have for you guys today are some recaps of drops earlier in the week, just in case you missed them. And if you want to pre-order any of these, check out the links down below. The first page here features some new Disney villains pops. So we do have Gaston, as well as Jafar, Yzma, and Mother Gothel as well as a new Ursula with Ursula's Lair, Pop Town. Then on the right, we did have a couple video game pops like Sonic the Hedgehog, we had Sonic with Chow, Shadow with Dark Chow, and Cream with Cheese. That's a definitely a really fun set that a lot of Sonic fans are excited for. And on the bottom, we do have the new League of Legends pops including Riven, Senna, Diego, Lucian, and Ari. And our last page here features new White Lotus pops. We did have a Tanya Amazon exclusive, as well as a pop ride of her on the scooter. From the new Agatha All Along show, we had Agatha as well as a Pocket Pop keychain. And on the bottom, the new Avril Lavigne Pop. Alrighty guys, that catches you up on all the latest drops and new pops coming soon outside of what is dropping this coming Wednesday. I know a lot of fun stuff did actually leak out yesterday that I will talk about later this week. Let me know in the comments below, are you guys excited for anything we did talk about in today's video? And if you did enjoy this video or find it helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon link Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And finally, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skitter Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page. So you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.